Welcome back guys, more Greedfall here and we're actually going to be finishing the DLC in this one, completing the DLC 100%, all the trophies and after that we should have done all the trophies, we've just done the Platinum, finished it yesterday, the Platinum walkthrough, but yeah, now we're doing the um, Divesp, I think it's Divesp Conspiracy DLC. So what you want to do, going off from your Platinum safe, you want to um, load up your Endgame safe, whichever that one was. Yeah, so for me, I believe it's this one here, 9 hours 03. So I'm going to load that one up. Yeah, um, I think it's something with DLC then, but I've, I've, DLC, I've done it on my other account, not this one. So I've got a text guide up for this as well, just like I have for the walkthrough. You'll find it linked in the description. This very simple, probably takes about the same length as that second partial playthrough we had to do. Uh, so first of all, guys, obviously... We're at the end game, so you pretty much uh, want to build some of this. Just get through it quicker. Go for a technical, um, obviously these attributes so will benefit that. And talents, you want um, two in vigor, uh, two in intuition, two in lock picking, and uh, two in charisma. You do need one in certain levels for this anyway. I forget what one it is, uh, but you'll see as we go along. Um, but yeah, I pretty much got my um, potion build going up, so I can kill enemies really quick. And of course, on discovery difficulty. Yep, okay then guys. So first of all, you're in your residence, pick up this note. That should, if you may have picked up already. If not, pick up now, that's a letter from Lady Morang. That will start the DLC, first contact. That's first quest. You're gonna make sure Vasco and Kurt are in your party. Uh, so let's just make sure now. Yeah, Kurt, Vasco are in your party. And then what you need to do, you need to go and talk with Lady Morang at the OM. Okay, so I'm a Hikme, so I need to fast travel to um, New Sereni. So yeah, pretty much doing that quest now guys. First contact. I take through all the trophies as we go along. So yeah, D side day residence in um, New Sereni. Right, what's my, um... yep, all good equipment wise, let's do it. Yeah, so we're gonna go and talk to her um, and then all we're gonna do then it's um, leaf, and then we have to go meet Aurelia uh, de Vesp. Yeah, and from here we'll warp to the fast, the we'll fast travel to the Rocky Bluff camp. So yeah, come and talk to the Lady. That should advance our dialogue. And yeah, just leaf. You don't need to ask about anything else. Just talk to her, and that should trigger um, the objective to update. If you've already picked up this note, then you should already have this quest in your in your quest menu. Just go into there and make this your active quest. First contact, remember the name of it. So yeah, once you speak to her, we're gonna come back to the globe and um, we're gonna warp to here, for our Sonic Lad, Gad. And you can warp to the Rocky Bluff Camp. That should be the one with the marker b beside it anyway. Yeah, so once you spawn in, you're gonna, we're going to go to the globe with the OM to the southeast. Uh, this one just here. And uh, then we're going to teleport to New Region. Yeah, I haven't got a Platinum Trophy on this count yet because... Um, yeah, if you've got a DLC installed, you normally have to find the campfires in the DLC. Uh, to pop the, the trophy for finding all the campfires. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pop that trophy last. Yeah, just over here is where you want to warp to. When you get to that globe. Yeah, I'm going to pop all the DLC trophies and then trigger Platinum last. So Platinum should be my last trophy. Now, it's going to be some new en enemy types we count along the way, guys, as we make our way over there. So, yeah, to make our way there, along the way, like I say, new enemy types, we need to kill 20 of these uh, for a trophy. They're called Eggs Regats or something. Yeah, you can see everything is just recycled again. They've just obviously stacked everything in a different way, but it's the same scenery and everything. Yes, yeah, so here we go, the new enemy type. Yeah, so 20 of them, that's three. I've been counting every single one we kill, and I think I know exactly where the trophy will pop, as long as you're killing the ones that I'm killing along the way. So I'm still making way towards the objective. There's some more here we're gonna kill. I think there's five here. Uh, so that should be eight. Is it five? It's five or six. I think it's five. Yeah, so kill them and then keep making way to the next objective. 
It should all be down, yeah, I think it's five. It's all down in the text guide, how many? Got this down to a science. Yeah, so make your way over here. And um, first we want to activate the campfire nearby before we go directly to the OM. Because the cutscene will trigger. And we just want to activate the campfire as we go past it. Yeah, so you come into this, this sort of little settlement, turn right, and here's one of the campfires. You've also got to get some collectibles from this one. Yep, so um, after lighting the campfire, we're going to go and head to the um, the woman at the OM, trigger a cutscene, and after that we'll choose to leave. You should update the objectives to um, track down the thieves who take chests. Yeah, you've got to track them down. So yeah, come over here, little cutscene. Bish bash bosh, there we go. Got nothing interesting to say, so I'm just going to skip through it all. Yep. Yeah, so make your way back to the campfire and there should be a ramp leading down just between the sort of path going to the campfire and the bridge. Uh, yeah, just here. Yeah, so head here. This can be quite difficult to find actually, this ramp. I think it took me a minute to find it the first time I uh, came through here. Yeah, so just making my way to the OM, guys. I'm going to examine the floor near the damaged cart, just over here. Yep, examine there. Yep, and then after doing that, you want to go back up the hill and examine the footprints next to the next OM. Yeah, so basically just following each, making a way towards, um, yep, see this one's over here, making a way towards it from one OM to the next, keep examining it pretty much. You've got this one here. Carry on to the next. As if the person who made them were carrying a heavy load. We're on the right path. Yeah, if you can find a way across the river, it doesn't let you walk through it for some reason. You have to find a cross in place, you've got to do it properly. Yep, should be another prompt somewhere to examine. I've only been through this once actually. Oh here we go. Yeah, examine this. The undergrowth has been crushed. Okay, make way to the next OM. There'll be a few eggs regats on the way. Uh, I think you've got to go around here to get down there. Yeah, there's five eggs regats here to kill. So after we've killed these, that should be, uh, what, 13? Yep, so that's 13 guys killed. We need to kill seven more. Right, so drop down and carry on towards the OM. Yeah, so we're, we're coming over here next, guys, and we're going to examine that prompt on the ramp. And then we'll be heading in the cave behind the waterfall. Yeah, this is a natural bridge. The footprints seem less hurried. Yeah, the, the footprints seem less hurried. We must be getting close. Yeah, decide it's a top tracker. Less hurried. Is that even a way to describe them? Yeah, but come over here, guys, and um, loot this chest, and you'll find a Lance Kunet two handed sabre. Make sure you take it out of the chest. Yeah, that's one of the um, legendary weapons from the DLC which you need for a trophy. There's five weapons all together. That's the first. Yes, yeah, so come outside the cave afterwards, turn right, and um, head up here, make your way towards the objective. You'll be ambushed by five eggs with gas. They should put our total at 18 once you kill these. Them five just killed previously, put it at 13. This should be 15. Um, yep, once you kill them, yep, interact with this campfire once a prompt becomes available. Well, they were taken by surprise. They didn't even defend themselves. That's true. We should look around before returning Aurelia's chest. Yep, you need intuition level 2 to do that. And then come over here and examine this corpse. Once you get the prompt. This campfire has not been used. It seems as though it was just laid out as a prop. There we go. And the next, there should be a little cutscene straight after. So just wait a moment for the cutscene to trigger. Yep, there we go. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to turn north. And first, we're going to head over here to this sort of small island. I think you need Vigor 1 to cross, Vigor level 1 to cross this log. Uh, no, so, yeah, level 1 Vigor, uh, which we have anyway. So cross over that log, it'll bring you to this little island with two large trees. And in between them is a chest. 
and that's got another legendary DLC weapon, the large Creedor Axe. Pick it up and then head back over to where the OM was and we need to go and observe um, that lookout point. Yes, yeah, so come over here, there'll be a little objective. There it is. Go and observe them. Oh, sorry, pick up the chest. That's it. Yeah, recover the stolen chest. And then we need to observe the spadassins or something. I think it's actually close by. Yeah. So come over here to observe them. Press X. It seems they are Aurelia Divest swordsmen. Okay, you see them down there? I'm afraid it is now beyond Up to something some funny business. Us. And uh, once you've done that, guys, she's going to make her way around here and actually activate a campfire. And then once you've done that, we're going to fast travel back to the DVS camp. Yeah, and we're about to report this quest. And when you report this quest in, uh, first contact, you get a trophy for this. So if you want to, obviously, if you do an auto pop, you want to make a save before you pop this trophy. I'll let you know just before we're about to do it. But yeah, come down this ladder. And you'll know, that, you'll know the campfire. If you look on your map, it'll be nearby question mark. It's just near that big stone sort of pillar over there. Should be able to see the smoke somewhere. The infinite burning campfire. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. So come up to this campfire. Yep, set it up. That should be the second camp here. And then fast travel uh, back to the DVS camp. Yep, and then once back here, guys, uh, yeah, that's where that campfire was. We pretty much came along here this way. Yeah, once you're back here, we're going to go and report back to uh, Aurelia at the OM. Give her the chest. You get experience. You get wedding contract notes. And you get a trophy at Dangerous Fiance. So just before you come in here, guys, Save your game if you want to do auto pop. Yeah, come and talk to her. And we want to choose, give her the chest. Yep, top one. Now pop that trophy and unlock the next quest with her. And then she's going to leave. So next one is compromising documents. So now we're going to head to the OM outside the camp for a little cutscene. And then we'll go to nearest campfire and fast travel to the D-side day residence in Hikme. One of these, one of these, um, side quest i think it's this one it actually just running around picking things up so yeah go to that cutscene uh that i went for cutscene and then we're going to go to the campfire and walk to hikme yeah so to hikme next d side day residence and what we'll do we'll go and talk to the governor burhan at the om in the palace for cutscene We'll be getting some very important collectibles soon, some notes, and apparently, what I've read, they can glitch up a bit. Uh, so what we'll do, just before they all spawn, we're going to save the game, and um, then you can collect them. If, it, if all five not in the chest, then you just load the game back up and try again. It's not happened to me, but I've read it, so I guess, to be safe, I'll just point it out to you. But yeah, come upstairs, talk to the governor. We get a cutscene automatically with this uh, spadassin. And then choose to leave. Right, so now we need to recover the compromise and file in Hikme. Yeah, so just exit the palace now. And there'll be some conspicuous looking people outside having a little chat and uh, we'll need to creep up to them you engage in battle if you if you don't creep up you engage in battle and not it, it will obviously change the order of things and um, change some of the different actions you need to take to continue the quest but um, yeah following me we're going to sneak up on them so you see that OM and then guys you want to crouch you shouldn't need to you shouldn't need to drink a potion a haze potion should be okay just crouching normally uh, without use of any sort of effects. We just come over here to the OM, press a button to uh, spy. There we go, press X, get through the dialogue. I should update the OM uh, to the, um, over here, to the northwest, I guess. 
Yeah, so come over to this OM next, and then we're going to choose to observe. Now, when you choose to observe, two uh, chests are going to spawn. Don't loot them yet. Yeah, two chests have spawned. Do not loot them yet. First, we're going to kill the enemies. Very important. Don't even open them. Just kill the enemies first. I think there's five humans. Yep, so just kill them first. And then what we want to do next is we want to save the game. Yep, so save the game. Yep, just make a new save. Now, we're going to loot these two chests that were spawned deep. These are highly missable, by the way. They will, they will disappear later. So loot one. You should get the notes on Kurt and the notes on Ciara. Yep, notes on Kurt, notes on Ciara. And the other one should have three in it. Notes on Afra, notes on Petrus, and notes on Vasco. So pretty much, um, these two chests should have five notes on each of your allies, which you can have, obviously have in your party. So if one of these is not here, because I've, I've read they can glitch out, uh, just read out the safe and loot them again. Okay, and once you loot them, guys, come over here and loot the corpse at the OM. Yeah, for the note from Aurelia de Vesp. Yeah, come and take that. I think you need to take that anyway to um, progress, and that's needed for a trophy as well, I believe. So yeah, take that. Might be better to um, take that first before you try and loot the chest, uh, just in case it doesn't respawn when you reload it to save. But it should do. Items and stuff on the floor don't normally disappear. It's just them two chests will disappear. Um, okay, so next we're heading over here. We've got meat with the merchant. Balance in Hikme. Yeah, he should be over here. So come and have a word of him. Yeah, speak with him here. Hello. Yep, and we're going to choose the Christmas option. Claim you are sent by the Devesps, 100%, so he cannot fail it. That's it. After that, come behind him and pick up the secret document. You should get notes on Constantine and the letter from Julia de Orsay. Okay, so next we've got to head into San Matias, guys. Meet with a sympathetic guide in San Matias is the next objective. Should have updated. Yeah, you can see the globe. It's got the um, orange icon on it, so it needs, means I need to be in a different region. Yeah, so next we've got to do summit. Similar to this, you know, collecting documents, but we've got to do it now in the San Matias. So yeah, fast travel over to San Matias. Do side day residence. Yeah, we're gonna. There's gonna be a letter just outside. Um, I'm not sure this needed for anything, because it's um, it's just called a letter from a sympathizer. But we'll pick it up anyway. Yeah, come outside the residence and pick up this letter on the floor. Um, letter from a sympathizer, and then come out and you turn right. I think you have to pick it up actually to update the objective. Come over here and talk to this guide for the OM. Yeah, come and have a chat with him. Just talk to him. Yeah, should update it, and then we're gonna head back into the city and we're gonna go into the tavern. And they're going to talk with Mr. Tally at the OM. Mr. Tally, again, we're going to persuade him with our charming skills at the power of persuasion. Yeah, it should be 100% charisma. So, yeah, come in here. Talking to Mr. Tally. Should be stood beside the bar. There he is. He's a spadassin. Yep, and you want to reassure him to get him to talk the charisma option. 100%. So, choose that. Yep, and then come outside. Now we need to go and uh, inside a warehouse and kill the enemies. Find the Inquisitors inside the warehouse in San Matias. It's the next objective. Where am I going? Yep, wrong way. It's over there. Yeah, so head west. Yeah, you just got to kill the enemies near, and then you have to grab the notes which are on the side, which will become sort of highlighted anyway. Yeah, we're halfway through the DLC already. Very, very short. Yeah, but coming here. There's not even a big boss at the end of it. You'd think there would be some sort of massive new boss, wouldn't you? It's not even a boss. It just sort of ends suddenly. You're like, what? No boss? Yeah. So once you kill them, guys, pick this up. The notes on the gay uh, de, sarde, de sardines. Yeah, once you've got that, come back outside. And we're going to go back to the residence now. And fast travel uh, back to New Sereni. So it's just one of them notes. Once you've got them notes, you're all good here. You're done. You can just head outside and back to New Sereni. Yep, 
Yeah, we'll be, this is the second. There's three side quests. This is the second one. Uh, we've got one more after this, and that's it done. But yeah, I can't believe there's like no boss. I'm quite surprised. I thought it'd be some sort of huge new boss they made for the end, you know, for this DLC, but they didn't even do that. They just obviously made a few new. They obviously randomised a few new weapons for us, and um, made a few new collectibles, and that's pretty much it. Recycle some of the assets to make a new region, I guess, and put some enemies in like an Assassin's Creed costume, and made some of the beasts look like lions that can stand up. Yeah, so once you get back to New Sereni, leave the residence and you want to come examine this poster just on the right when you come out. Yeah, pick up the propaganda poster. Once you've got this, we're going to go and talk to a curious citizen. No, that is actually the citizen's name. They're very curious. Looks like um, Daisy Ridley from Star Wars. This woman here. Look, very... Can't see their resemblance. The uncanny. Yes, yeah, so talk for the curious citizen, and then we want to go downstairs into the cells inside the coin barracks. Yes, yeah, so talk to her. Yep, so it's downstairs now into the cells in the coin barracks, and next, yeah, we're going to talk with the prisoner at the OM. Alas, there's nothing in there. Oh, I forgot I didn't complete the Egon quest. Did I? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Don't need to do that now anyway. Yeah, so you want to come into here, into the prison. And there's going to be somebody we need to talk to. Uh, this guy through here. Yeah, talk to them. That should update the objective. Right, now we need to head back. We need to head outside. We need to head to the east. And there's going to be some enemies we have to kill. Yeah, I should have saved the game after completing Egon's face. Um, you know, just reload really later, but it doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah, so once you come back outside, turn left, and we just head into that sort of east uh, path that leads outside the um, the city, the town, the village, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, there should be some enemies out. No, wrong one. You've got to come out here first. You do have to go there, but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Oh yeah, so men, oh yeah, you got to kill these ones first. So you got these enemies first, over here. Yeah, so once you kill them, you want to talk to this blonde guy. Yeah, talk to the poster pastor, Peter Piper. Thank you for She's yep, talk to him. And we've got to go and kill the remaining uh, posters. Now we're going to where I went initially. So now come back here. And there'll be some more enemies, and then you can destroy your poster. Yeah, so kill these punks. Yeah, once you kill them all, come over here and destroy this. Make it explode. I think you need our chemical preparation for elemental damage, but you should have one. Uh, and once you've done that, you need to go into the palace. And talk with the Corshalin upstairs. Uh, wrong way. It's not the wrong way, but that's the longer way. Yeah, if you don't have that alchemical preparation, you could probably just go and buy one from a blacksmith or from the vendor here. But following my platinum walkthrough, you should have all this all this gear. Yeah, so we need to go upstairs, talk to the Corshalin. Yeah, and what you do, you show him the recovered documents and the contract, and that will complete this quest. And then there's one more quest, guys. Very simple to do this. Yeah, you want to, yeah, like I said, show him the recovered documents and the contract, and then you can leave. Yep, yeah, so the middle one, show him the recovered documents. There you go, that should complete it. And leave. I'm yep, there we go. And strike back. Followed. That's the last quest. Right, so what we're going to do first, we're going to go and talk with Lady Morang at the OM. Some of these objectives, I think some of these you don't have to complete. Some of the objectives for this, this uh, quest. But some of them will lead to um, to files, which we're going to need 
for the, the trophy for collecting all the um, archive. So we need to do them anyway. But it's very, very quick to do. So yeah, we're going to go and talk to Lady Morang, Lady Magoo first. And we're going to go and speak to Admiral Cabral. So yeah, talk to Magoo. And then leave. Find the fake seal, ask Admiral Cabral for information. Yeah, so once we spoke to Admiral Cabral and chose to leave and update the objective, we're going to fast travel back to um, that new region, that new DLC region. Yeah, so come in off a word of her. And then leave. Fa yeah, fast travel to the new region now. Yep, yeah, and we want to fast travel to the... To, we don't want to go to the best camp, we want to go to a different one. We want to fast travel to the ADAG Old Cradle West Road. So yeah, fast travel to that bottom warp point. Right, we're going to be killing the last few Exregore enemies soon. Exregore enemies. So if you're, if you're planning to um, do auto pop, guys, I'm going to let you know in a minute about where you need to make this auto pop safe. So you make way down this hill. You'll, you'll actually see the enemies ahead. Remember, we need to kill two more uh, to pop the trophy for killing. It's called the Wildcat Hunter for killing 20. Yeah, so there they are. So yeah, make a save now if you want to auto pop this trophy. And then come in here and kill these. Once two are dead, the trophy should pop. Yeah, there we go. Wildcat hunter like clockwork. Right. Got them all. Okay, so once you've done them, we're going to enter the southwest cave nearby. Uh, that's this cave here, guys. So yeah, enter this cave. Because inside there's going to be... Go inside and keep looking right and there should be a cave you can go into. That's uh, and it'll lead you to like a open area. I think I might have gone past it. No, I haven't yet. Yeah. yeah, so just keep looking right, it's obviously further up. I thought I just remembered it being a bit closer to the entrance. Yeah, so carry on up, you should see it on the right. Yeah, here we go. So just come out here, kill these, kill these enemies. And there'll be a chest here, which will have the another legendary pistol inside. Required for the DLC trophy, for getting all the weapons. So yeah, take the D-Vesp golden pistol, guys. Yep, take that. And now we're going to exit the cave back via the way we came in. So come back out here, turn left, and to make our way outside the main cave tunnel now. What we're going to do now, we're going to make our way around to the OM. There is a campfire nearby, but we're going to get it in a second, so don't worry. Uh, we're just going to come around here first, because otherwise you're going to have to get a campfire and then run back down here. You're going to kill the enemies. Because there's some looting we have to do here, looting some items. Yeah, so once you kill them, Hey, you'll come over here and loot these notes. So you've got these notes on this table. Notes on Govra Cornelia. I'm here. And you've got a key here if you need it. You don't really need it, but it's there if you want it. And you've also got another note over here. This is a notes on Governor Burhan. Make sure you pick this up, guys. Very, very important. All right, once you've got these above, uh, sorry, these files, go back to the basement at the OM. Should be down here. Yeah, come to the basement of the OM and you can either use a key or lockpick it. It'll be like lockpicking number 23 out of 20 if you use a key. Open it to free the noughts. There you go, that should update that objective. Right, come up this steps afterwards.
Right, and um, you see this campfire? We need to go directly east from that here. There's a slope. So you've got a campfire. Yeah, this is the slope. We need to come down here, down to this area here. So I'm just going to put a mark there, actually, so I know I'm going to get lost. Yeah, it's going to be another weapon down here. Yep, so make your way down here to the dock. Well, to the beach, I guess there's going to be a large uh, wrecked ship. Yeah, and right on, turn left when you get to the beach and come along here and there should be a chest. There is. With weapon aside, Confessor's Ceremonial Hammer. Pick that up, that's another one of the weapons we need. That should be four out of five you have now of the DLC legendary weapons. So what we're doing now is head into that campfire nearby. That'll be the last campfire in this region. And um, once you get there, we're going to warp, fast travel to the d -Vesp camp. So yeah, should be campfire nearby, there it is. Yeah, so that's all the campfires done there. So I can do that quest now, uh, but I'll do it later. Yeah, so warp to the d -Vesp camp, guys. Yep, and then once you get here, first we want to examine... Uh, pick up the notes on the left in the tent on the left Kill the enemies first of course Yeah, this tent on the left here Because in here you'll find the note concerning the noughts you want to pick that one up and then we need one more. We need one more note now, and that should pop the note trophy. It's called it's called the Vesp Secret Ar Secret Archives. Yeah, so come in here. Yep, and you want to pick up this, the fake D or say seal. I think you need to pick that up to advance a quest anyway. And you also want to pick this up. This is a Aurelia de Vesp's diary, and that should pop that trophy, guys. De Vesp Secret Archives. As long as you got all them notes. Um, yeah. So I just show you the notes which I've got. Yeah, so you see all these ones coming up from the bottom. You should have most of these. I'm not sure if every single one counts, but as long as you've got these in your inventory, uh, that trophy should have popped there. You see? Yeah, so that's pretty much what you should have, guys. Yep, okay, so once you've got all them and you've updated the objective, you need to go back to the campfire. Now we're going to fast travel to the cliff camp. We're going to get the last legendary weapon case, and also um, do the next objective. The was yeah, so back over to the cliff camp. The uh, sorry, this camp and warp to the cliff camp. Uh, so travel. Yep, here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go north down the hill. I think you can actually drop down them. Yeah, you can drop down this ramp. Ramp, Pete, yeah. So you need to sort of head, um, you need to go down this hill to the north, but you sort of need to go rest, uh, to go west to get to the ramp leading down to it. Yeah, and once you get to the bottom, you want to turn left. Yeah, turn left once you reach the bottom. Just ignore the objective, just make your way down to the bottom of the swamp, and then turn left. And then we're going to follow this swamp around, the outer, sort of outer path around, and... Uh, clockwise and keep an eye on the right because you're going to find a little camp this one here and there's a chest inside in this chest is our last weapon the marksman marksman's acrobus you got a lot pick this weapon it's a lot of picking level one it's very easy and since you take that weapon that should pop that trophy guys unique weapons yeah so if, if that didn't pop you're it's of a glitch i hope it hasn't or you miss one. But if you go through my text guide, you should find in there where they all are. And then once you've done that, we can head over to the OM and get the antidote. When you get to this guy, you want to ask him about the poisonous plants. Yeah, big bad vad. Yeah, ask them about the poisonous plants. Yep, and they can leave. That will get you the antidote. So all you need to do now is go back to the QM. Pretty much done, guys. That's pretty much it for the DLC. Not much to it at all. Yeah, so we are. We're going to go back to D-Side Day Residence in New Sereni. And um, then we're going to go and see Lady Magoo. We're going to cure her with the antidote. 
And then she got going to arrest. You don't even have to fight. I mean, am I spoiling it by telling you this? You don't even have to fight the woman at the end. It's just like, it's, I don't know. I think it's just this DLC. It's just like mega short. It's obviously some sort of cash grab. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, warp to D side day residence, guys. Once you get back to the uh, to the campfire. I mean, it's not a cash grab. I mean, it's pretty much the way they've made the whole game, hasn't it? So you can't really say it's not like they haven't. The DLC isn't expanded on it. It's expanding the game, but yeah. It's just not bring it really bringing anything new. Once you spawn it, yeah, we're going to go talk to Lady Magoo. And um, yeah, I'm going to pop platinum, guys. Yep, yeah, literally in about five minutes, we're done. So come in here, talk to Lady Magoo. Oh, what happened here, my love? There you go, get that down, yeah. Get that down your neck. Yep, yeah, cured her. And now we're going to go and arrest her. Make sure you got your handcuffs ready. Vasco, Kurt, flank her while I try and distract her. Yep, that's it. That is it. All you got to do now. Oh no, I'm carrying too much. Oh yeah, this happened to me on my, on my other account actually. Because she, she gives you, I think you get all the gear, you get a load of gear, and then it overburdens you, or it does me. Um, but what I can do, what level am I? Have I got another talent point? No, so I could have just put another one in vigor to um, get 100 more capacity. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of some of my potions. Got far too many. Oh, that's quest items. Do not need all of them. Let's drop some. Oh, almost. Okay, I can run again. Yeah, so all you got to do, guys, you got to come into your residence and burn them all uh, by the fireplace. If you've got all them notes, which we picked up when you burn the files you can choose to burn them all and if you do you get plus one with each of your allies uh, but if you don't you weren't so interact with fireplace burn the documents all that's left and yeah you can either keep them or burn them if you like I say if you burn them you get plus one with all of your companions so i'm just going to burn them there you go i'm not going to be reading them again yeah plus one for everybody you've got a trophy cancelled wedding and that's the dlc complete so if i come into my trophies I should have all the DLC ones. Yep, yeah, very, very easy to do, guys. You've probably done an half hour if you speed ran it. Okay, and all I need next is. Yep, yeah, let's pop the platinum last. Uh, what quest is it? Yep, yeah, this one exploration and cartography. Yeah, so if you've got DLC installed, you have to um, get the DLC campfires to pop that. So what I'm going to do, go upstairs, report this quest, and I'm all done. Trophy Platinum. Earn all greedful trophies. And we're done. Yeah, we're done with greedful now. Just got to do the auto pop guide on PS5. I'm confident I can get all the trophies on PS5 from 0 to all... Is it 68 or 69? In uh, oh, No, 64, isn't it? In um, one hour. I'm confident I can do it. We'll see tomorrow, I guess. But yeah, talk to the Corsolin. If you haven't done it, you might have already handed this in. Yeah, talk about the camps. Yeah, good to go, Explorer. And the beautiful shiny platinum. There we go, we've got them all. Yep, that's all the trophies, guys. And the DLC's done. Yeah, so um, thank you for watching, guys. Like I say, I'll have an auto pop guide going up for this tomorrow. If you want to check that out, just how to quickly, even if you're thinking about jumping into Greedfall, uh, it's a good idea to watch it anyway or look at, have a little look because if you if you like to pop auto pop trophies on ps5 this doesn't really have an auto pop you have to um not in the sense where you can just transfer a save and they pop automatically it's like a manual one i like to call it where you where they don't pop but you can make saves in strategic places and then pop all the trophies really quickly but you have to have a bit of knowledge to know where to do it obviously beforehand uh, but that's what that guide will show you where to make i'll explain all it because some of the trophies are a bit it's a bit funny how it works i mean it will be explained um in the video 
Um, but yeah, DLC done, guys. Platinum done. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.